Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is gonna be part three of my fall haul. The first stuff I'm gonna show you is what I got in Japan recently. Let me just say, if Japan is not already on your bucket list, please add it. It was always my number one spot I wanted to visit. I had never been to Asia before, so this probably definitely spoiled me. It is so amazing, you guys. Everyone is so, so sweet and kind and helpful there. It is so clean. Like, if you're an OCD clean freak like me, this is going to be your dream country to go visit. I mean, for the amount of people, it is shocking how spotless it is. Like, you're hard-pressed to find a piece of trash anywhere. Everything runs on time. The city is just designed, uh, when I say city, I mean Tokyo, designed to just move a large amount of people through efficiently. It's just, I love it. It was like, I'm sorry to say, because I love New York, but like it blows New York out of the water in my opinion. I mean, the shopping is amazing. Uh, you have the bullet train. You can be in Kyoto in a couple hours, go hiking in the mountains. You can go snowboarding. You have the beaches. Like it's Literally, like you are so lucky if you're from Japan. I love it, love, love it. So I'll probably do a little, I was thinking I'll do like a little Japan vlog because I have lots of cool little clips and kind of maybe do like the top 10 things that surprised me about the country. But anyway, into the haul. So I didn't do too much shopping just because we weren't there that long and I was there to kind of see the city. So first thing I got in Kyoto, it was just, okay, so... Like, I don't know if anyone else is like this, but like, I have a pretty big head. Like, I'm not a petite person. I really don't like those boxy ball caps that men wear. And I really, like, I'm sorry, guys, but I really don't think, like, when men wear their hats, like, sitting like this, I don't care who you are, that does not look good. So, this was just a ball cap that I got in um, Kyoto. I think it says like beautiful woman or something like that. Anyway, it was gonna rain that day, but I just got this because I just didn't want my hair to get wet, but it ended up being like one of those like really nice fitting hats. So this is how I like my hats to fit. Yeah, and I wear it to the gym. I recently started not wearing makeup to the gym at all as I was told by the facialist that I just saw. So yeah, it shouldn't really get that dirty or anything. I just thought this was a really, really nice fitting black hat. Also, if you guys are looking for ones like this, um, the new, there's New York City, there's New York Yankee hats that fit like this too. Next up, okay, I have a couple of these. So I'm a little bit of a perfume snob. Uh, my boyfriend always teases me. He thinks I was like a bloodhound in a past life. My sense of smell is just very, like I have an amazing sense of smell. So that can be good and bad. But let me tell you, guys, like you need to invest in a nice scent for yourself. It doesn't have to be crazy expensive, but try to find something unique. So my favorite thing to do is I usually mix two different things or I'll mix like a body cream and then put a perfume on top because I never want someone to smell like me and I'm kind of like a snob this way but I won't tell people what perfume I'm wearing sometimes if they ask and it's an expensive one I just kind of make up something else just because I don't want them to know but I'll just show you I have so many of these perfumes and lotions and stuff at home so no one will ever really know like my secret mix. But if you are ever in Tokyo, I found this store called Tomorrowland. I believe there might be one in New York, um, maybe London. So just remember, Tomorrowland. So, and I apologize guys, my phone is about to die. I'm filming on my MacBook and I know when I show you this, it's going to show the writing backwards, but I'm gonna show you a close up after. So if you have never heard of Barreto fragrances, you must be living under a rock, but this, I mean, gypsy water, probably everybody has. It's, I, I used to really like this, but I've worn it for so many years. It's not my favorite anymore, but I just picked up another one because in Tomorrowland, they were $66 less than here. So normally this would be $200 Canadian, and how many miles is it? 
50 milliliters. So it's pretty expensive, right? And in the States, it's going to be more money. So this was $66 less in Canadian dollars. Like, what? So I got a couple. This is my favorite at the moment. It's an Oud, Oud Immortel. Um, reminds me of like, it's like a very London scent. Um, great for fall and winter. But I will never tell you my secret mix, what I do. I also have, um, you know, the body cream. The body cream I really like better than the lotion. I have like hand sanitizers, hand creams, candles, like this brand. I just, I love, oh my God, it's so, so good. So good. Next thing I got in Tokyo. So this is very, very strange to me. As I was walking around that week, I realized that barely anyone wears sunglasses. Like we are in the land of the rising sun, yet no one wears sunglasses, okay? Even one day we went hiking, not many people are wearing hats or anything, but all the women have perfect, perfect skin. So I started asking, I'm like, what kind of um, sunscreen do you use? And it was funny, even though barely anyone could speak English, they knew what I meant, and all of them were like, oh, oh, Anessa, Anessa, you have to go get the Anessa sunscreen. So I definitely did. And let me tell you, I'm going to show you a close up after. So Shiseido is obviously a huge Japanese company. In Japan, though, they have a few different branches of Shiseido that we can't get here. Probably at Japanese beauty stores, you can or on Amazon. But say if you go to Sephora or here in Toronto, like the Bay, if you go to a Shiseido counter, you won't be able to find this. So the I'm going to link this below because this is amazing. So their Anessa sunscreen looks like this. So on the front, don't worry guys, I'll do a close up after. It is SPF 50 plus, 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 plus. It has four pluses. So this is the, the silver tube is the moisturizing version of it. I will do a close up of how it goes on. Basically, this is like no sunscreen you have ever seen before. It's like, it goes on like a silky primer. It's almost clear. It's like liquid silk on your skin. It feels amazing. I looked up the kind of the background of the product. A lot of science research has went into this. Basically, if it gets wet with sweat or like the heat of your body, it works that much better. So this is pretty much the highest SPF you can get. It is made in Japan. Um, I also got the, this is the baby. Um, it's just made for babies. This is SPF 34, but I got this just because it was tiny. I can keep this in my bag. This I put on after all my other skincare in the morning and it is amazing. All other sunscreen breaks me out. This does not. It helps your skin, actually. It is just, I can't say enough about this, but everyone in Japan recommended this, and everyone's skin is perfect, and no one wears sunglasses. So, must be working. Next up, okay, I just wanted to show you, because I thought these were super pretty, because I love eating with chopsticks. Um, in Kyoto, if you ever go, there's just so many nice little gift shops, so I got all these nice chopsticks. I just thought they were really, really pretty. Um, the reason though, I'm gonna show you something else. So um, in a lot of the restaurants there, they had like little dishes like this. So let me just show you. You can put your little like chopsticks in like this. And then uh, one restaurant we were eating like tempura and sushi, and they had these little spices. I'm just showing this because if you have a Japanese food store by you, um, I would highly recommend this. I'm sorry, I don't know what it's called in English, but I'll show you and I'm gonna show a close up. So there is a red one and also a green one. So what you do, you, I was watching the men in the restaurant. So you put a little pile of the spice in the dish. So there was also kind of like a salt and a peppery one. So a little pile of the red, a uh, little pile of the green, and then there was like a blend of peppers and salt at the restaurant as well. So we didn't know what this was called because it's, the writing is obviously in Japanese. So I took a picture and then I found a little spice store and the lady was really nice. She didn't speak English very well, but she helped me find them. 
So the red one I feel is more like a, it's a little bit sweet and spicy. So this one is to be kept in your fridge. And then this one is I would say like a refreshing lime wasabi flavor. So this goes really good with rice, sushi. If I'm roasting vegetables, I've been putting this one on. These are amazing. So I got a couple of each of them. So hopefully I can find them here. I just wanted to show you because I, I think a lot of you guys found me through my Instagram and I really like healthy cooking. So I just wanted to show this on here even though it's not like a food or sorry, a clothing item. It's a, a food one. But I really, really like these spices. spices. I will do a close up of them after. Next beauty product, again from Shiseido, but it is the Japanese uh, line. I think something got a little lost in translation because it's called Water in Lip. <laughs> but it says Shiseido on the, uh, under that. And yeah, all the writing is Japanese. So this is their, the Japanese line of Shiseido. So this is probably the best chapstick, lip balm, whatever you want to call it, I have ever had in my life and probably won't be able to find it again. But I'm going to try to link it on Amazon if I can find it. It just goes on, it goes on clear, it makes your lips just look so healthy, shiny, hydrated. My lips, I feel like if you have fuller lips, they get dried out easier and I don't know, I just love this. Of course, like you always find your best, most favorite products in other countries, right? And then, again by Shiseido, are these little facial razors. So I know it's very like in to basically take the little baby hairs off your face. Recently I had the derma cleaning done when I got a facial, which is where they take a little razor blade, take off the top layer of the skin, and then um, also the top layer of like the baby hair, just so product can absorb easier, bacteria is not building up on the, the hair around your face. But this brand, I have found them on Amazon. I will link them. I find them the best. They don't break your skin out. It gives like a really um, clean, basically shave. I feel like, I don't want to say like I'm shaving my face, but I don't do it all over. I just, um, like probably everyone has a little, little bit of like baby, like peach fuzz hair right here. This is really, really good. I, I really, really like these. So this next thing is super cool. You were walking around Harajuku the one day and I had in my mind I wanted like a silk, um, kind of like a kimono robe for at home. But most of them ha were very traditional and had like the long arms. And realistically, I'm not gonna like wear that in my kitchen or to do makeup. They're beautiful, but realistically, I will not wear that. But I just had in my mind I really wanted like a kimono. So this, like this jacket was made for me. So there was a pop-up shop there. I think the artist is actually from New York City. Um, the guy running the pop-up shop though had lived in Japan for a while. So the company is called Broke City Gold. So I, oh my God. This, this is the coolest jacket I own by far. So I have, um, I have a Chanel pin on here. So basically what this artist does, he takes old unisex oversized Levi denim jackets and obviously you can see this one is dyed orange. It's really, really big. It's kind of just one size fits all and they're all one of a kind. But the back, you guys, okay, here it says Broke City Gold. The back is what he does is he takes kimonos and cuts the back of the jean jacket out and inserts a kimono. And also it has these zippers and then you can zip it all the way up. You can wear this as a cape over your shoulders or a jean jacket. I'm gonna show you after how I wear it. This is such a cool one of a kind piece. No one else will ever have the same one as me. It is amazing. Like I feel like this is the best souvenir I could have got from Japan. The guy wore me, he's like, you know what? He's like, everyone comes to look at this shop and they kind of start browsing around thinking if they can find something else that they want better. And he's like, they always come back. He's like, they never find anything cooler than this. And I would agree. This jacket is bomb. It is 
awesome. I love it. I love jean jackets. Like this was made for me. And I feel like if you have like a Chanel pin, um, it really pops against the orange. I've never really actually seen an orange denim jacket, but I love this thing. It is sick. I love it. I'm just going to show you guys four pieces I grabbed today that I think are really good basic items. Um, all of them are in stores right now, so I wanted to just make a quick video to show you. I'll also film a try-on uh, portion of it right after. So um, first thing is actually, it is a pair of pajama pants from Victoria's Secret. And I saw them the other day, but they're $52 just for pajama pants. And I, I know maybe some people don't think like that's a bad price, but for something you're sleeping in, like eh, it's kind of expensive. I knew because of the like, Christmas sales coming up, it will go on sale. So I'm glad I waited because today they have all their pajama separates 40% off. So I think it's going on all week. So if you see any, if you like those like satiny type pajamas they have there, I would definitely get them. So these, I didn't even try them on yet, but I know I will like them. They're just the um, the satin pajamas. I think I got, yeah, I got size medium because I have another pair like that. I don't obviously want these types of pants very tight. And they're just a black satin with um, like a cream colored stripe down the side. And then the white tie as well. So these are so silky soft. I have leopard print pajamas like this that I really, really like. They kind of like, I don't know, almost look like a cougar or a housewife or something when I wear them, but I like them. These are such a good gift. If you have like any girls in your life that you have to buy for, you can't really go wrong with these. Like I feel like everyone likes silky pajamas to sleep in. Okay, next thing, this is actually from the men's section at Zara. Okay, Zara, I don't, understand your sizing like I buy a small woman's and it could fit like a 500 pound woman nothing wrong with that but kind of hard to shop online or this is a large men's and it's like just kind of like that perfect oversized hoodie so it is just a plain black hoodie has the pocket there in the front kangaroo pocket and I'll show you this is just from the men's section it was size large $39.90 so not too bad okay next thing is um comme des garçons the play um line this is size medium it's just a nice fitted black shirt with the little logo there it was, let's see, 105 Canadian, I think. This is from Holt Renfrew. Just a cute little basic. Um, I would say that if you've never tried this brand on, it it's definitely fitted. It doesn't usually fit too oversized, so I am a true size medium. I feel like when you look at my body, I would say I would be a medium. That's what I would kind of rate myself but it's very, very hard nowadays. I mean, I have sizes large to extra small. It's just kind of how you want things to fit. Comme des garçons, the play, um, I feel though it fits very true to size. So I'm a size medium. One more item. Again, I'm a size medium. Now I tried on an extra small and they were out of small. I should, ideally, I would be a small in this. But the extra small fit me, but I ended up getting the medium because extra small, this is meant to be kind of like an oversized crop top. Extra small was more fitted. So I got size medium. This is um, by opening ceremony. It is black and it has the navy black and white band at the bottom, which is a little bit of like a stretchy material. This was 115 and just a good basic piece. You have to remember I'm more like a casual type of girl, so this stuff is what I wear on the regular. But yeah, I just really, really like these pieces. I'll show you how they fit in a second. Okay, this is the Gypsy Water Perfume. Uh, if you've never heard of the brand Burrito before, it kind of means 
by memory. So everything, when you smell it, it's supposed to bring back a memory, which is crazy because it does. It really takes you to a different place. This is the best brand for perfumes by far. So that is just kind of always in rotation. This is my favorite at the moment. I get a lot of compliments on it is the Oud Immortel. It is a very London scent. It's a very deep fall wintry scent. I don't think you would want to wear this in the summer. The body cream over here is very, very nice. My last one lasted me probably almost a couple of years because I only put this on on certain parts of my body and my boyfriend just grabbed me another one, which is really, really nice of him. I have, we have lots of these candles, but this is my favorite at the moment. It's almost like a leathery vanilla smell. It, if you have ever smelled their Bibliotheque candle, it's similar to that. I actually prefer this one. My boyfriend gave me that one as well, which is very nice of him. There's a little close up of the hat. And then if you guys are into cooking, I want to show you a close up of these spices because they are amazing. So if you can read Japanese or even if you can screenshot this, if you go to a Japanese store, you can get it. So the green one stays in the freezer, the red in the fridge. I'll show you this is what I meant by lost in translation it just says water in lip and it is shiseido chapstick the best ever this is gonna be that amazing Anessa sunscreen that I think everyone should try I recently showed it to the facialist and she seemed pretty impressed with it she had not heard of it I'll show you how it goes on in a second These are the facial razors. Again, everything in Japanese, but Shiseido does make them. And then here's another little product. I recently got lash extensions, not because, I mean, my lashes are super long, but um, I just am very lazy. I don't like doing makeup. So this is like a protective coating that actually extends the life. I'll just show you that too it's pretty good you put it on once every three days just at the lash line so there I just put some of that Shiseido lotion on and it almost goes on like a clear primer and I'm just rubbing it in and it feels so silky smooth oh my god it's amazing it's not like that thick white lotion that we have here that really clogs people's pores this is amazing like what are we doing in north america go get yourself this you can also wear i really like wearing oversized jean jackets kind of where you button it And then though you're gonna kind of wear it off the shoulder so this one is so big okay that you can kind of like wear it open and again if you had different pants you can tuck this one almost so it's like a very loose denim shirt so I'll show you the back which is super cool so I'm gonna show you with the these are with the zippers down wear it over your shoulders like this this is like the perfect jacket that will stay on your shoulders and I'm just gonna show you okay I'm gonna unzip it all the way and then we'll wear it like a cape oh my god this jacket is so sick and I mean Never in these videos do I actually look nice, but if you're all dressed up, have like all black on, whoa, can't do it. 
so you can have it more like where your arms are out like this like a cape So here's the opening ceremony top. I love this. I think it will look really good with jeans or if you just want to wear it with leggings for like a little bit of a like a dressier casual look. I really like it. And these are those aloe leggings I showed in one of my last hauls. So you can go watch that if you like them. And this is a size medium. So you can see it's a little bit big here. Size small would be best, but I don't mind it. I don't mind. So again, this is size medium. This is one of those basic tees that is just a little bit dressier than a regular tee. You can wear this. You're gonna look very smart and put together and it's just a plain basic black tee. But because it has the little logo, you know you put a little bit more effort into your look, okay? Without being anything too extra. So this looks great with denim. It looks great with kind of those wide-legged pants, leggings. Um, I mean, you can wear this with a skirt, but tucked in. I kind of like that look. Then out a little bit. Yeah, just a good basic piece. Really cute. This is size medium. It fits perfect, just how it's supposed to. And just plain black. So here's that men's hoodie I was telling you about. So this is a men's large. You can see like it's not too, too big, but I just think it is like so perfect, comfy. Let's see. Yeah. The hood is a pretty nice size for my big head. Yeah. How I would tie it though, I would probably go like this and leave it up like that. These are maybe a little too big, but okay, they're size medium. Like a nice really oh neck pockets that's really nice silky pajama pants 